Hey, the crews are on the air for a call that's been holding more than an hour. Do you have a uniform car that can come here and cover us, code 9? Sir, I have no cars available. Hello again everybody and welcome to DPD TV. I'm Sergeant Warnicke with our third and final segment on police response times. Many people know the economic recession was difficult on many organizations and the Denver Police Department was no exception. 911 call takers are down, police dispatchers are down, but there's good news on the horizon. We have a class that started yesterday, so we're really happy to have them here. And unfortunately, they're not going to be of value to us as far as uh, somebody actually doing the job and, and dispatching officers for six to nine months. It's the same situation for police officers, almost down 100 positions. It also takes them nine months to get ready for action. We have less, less officers to be able to send and dispatch to pending calls. So we have to work really diligent to dispatch the high priority calls first because we can only do so much with uh, the amount of officers that we have. And that's led to questions about today's response times. So I sat down with Chief Robert White to talk to him about it. Chief, are response times slower today, and if so, why? You, you know, I, while I think it's important that we're transparent and we acknowledge that there's a, there's a challenge as we release our response times, I think it was equally important for the men and women in our department and community to know that we are addressing that issue. We've done some things to so team policing, uh, civilization, which permits us to put sworn officers in those in those uh, precincts, that has reduced the delay in response times that would have been greater even if, if we had not made those changes. I also asked Chief White about team policing, which involves officer scheduling and its effect on response times. While there have certainly been some that criticize team policing and even contribute the slow response time to team policing, there couldn't be anything further from the truth. Uh, as a matter of fact, we've done an analysis of of team policing and response times prior to putting uh, team policing in place. Uh, and if we hadn't made the changes to team policing and some of the other changes that we made, response times would actually even be higher. Thanks to the citizens voting for 2A and thanks to the mayor and the council support, we have two classes in the academy uh, that will graduate in October. Uh, we will have a third class in the academy this year that will start in December. And I'm very hopeful as we go into 2014, we'll have an additional two classes in the academy also. On behalf of the Denver Police Department, we hope you have a better understanding of all of the things it takes to get help to you. And remember, we're here for your comments. We'll see you next time.